China had said it would achieve over 8% growth this year, and indeed it has achieved over 8% growth. Once the target was set, failure was simply not an option. The country has not missed a single GDP target this entire decade. China says the growth has been driven by a successful financial stimulus and the country's growing consumer class. But many analysts aren't convinced by the numbers. Part of it is, yes, there is fudging of numbers, but part of it is that even with the best data collection in the world, it's very difficult to get good data for a country that's changing as quickly as China. Take how the government calculates consumption. In China, government spending, for example, if a police station buys a car, counts as general consumer spending, which means strong numbers might not say much about the state of the economy. Some worry the Chinese strategy is not sustainable and that the economy will face problems in 2010. All of these companies that are profitable only because of the currency subsidy and the interest rate subsidy lose those subsidies and they suddenly all start losing money. In such a big country where the economic divide between rich and poor can be enormous, big numbers might not tell you much. For example, China still has a long way to go before it will catch up with the per capita income of the United States. But the best gauge of the economy may well be what you see on the ground. In Beijing, the financial crisis has largely been a story they've read in the papers. While people worried earlier this year, there are a lot of signs that at least in this corner of China, things are okay. 8% growth certainly builds up confidence, especially when so many other countries are suffering from a recession. But the government actually says 8% is the minimum needed to keep this economy going. There's a belief that the most terrible times are over, which means that the target set for 2010 may well be even higher. Melissa Chan, Al Jazeera, Beijing.